Did you touch the button? Don't do that. How do you know when people are on? Does it say live in the corner? Yes. It does? Yeah. Okay. Well, then we're live. Yay! <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, and I'm still finishing an email. Get up your I'm phone. Right. Shut your mouth. Go back in the bedroom. No. <laughs> okay. Stop, Roxy. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, I'm answering an email and my husband is entertaining the dogs behind the camera because as you can see I am well, not at the, the camera and not your email Cut. can you please I'm getting the comments on here <laughs> take your band of misfits and go in the bedroom oh my goodness go you should be looking at the camera I am looking at the camera people want to see your face <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here to help me your Barb is way better at this job than you are. Barb. Just saying. Can you go, please? If you're going to stay out here, you have to stop talking. Well, you got to start paying attention to your people. I, <laughs> this is exactly why we don't work together anymore. Because even when I'm the boss, he thinks he's the boss. So, I am home because our virtual retreat is today. And so, Barb is not with me. So, I have, I guess, the next best, best thing, which is Eric. And <laughs> he's not the director, Helene. No, absolutely not. Um, so he just thinks that he is. Barb is better at this job because she does not interrupt me and she's nicer you to me. Are you reading off a card? Looks like you're reading off a card. I'm reading comments. Would you? Oh my God. You want me to read the comments? No, I do not. I don't know if I can read. <laughs> do you want to be on camera with me? Hell no. Okay, then stay over there. No swear words and stop staring at me. It's awkward. So anyway, yes, I just saw somebody said I'm giddy. I am giddy because I'm so excited. Or maybe you are. Oh, <laughs> Cindy said you guys are. Well, I am too because um, I'm excited because I have stuff to show you. I have some new cork that I want to show you that will be coming in really soon. And um, I will also show you all the things that I bought. This is the benefit of Barb not being here because she would just be rolling her eyes going, why did you buy all that? So instead, I can do that in front of my husband who will go, what did you spend all your money on that for? Um, a couple quick reminders before uh, we get into talking about all of the other stuff I couldn't include in the video. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans. And don't forget, because I just realized that November is almost halfway over. Swaps are due on the 5th. So the 5th of December it's coming. It's um, one, two, three, four, four weeks. Am I counting right? Three weeks. One, two, three. It's about, it's under four weeks. We'll go with that. So don't forget to get your swaps done. And again, if for some reason you can't do it or you cannot fulfill your swap for any reason, send me an email as soon as you know that you can't and I will take care of your partner and we'll will be fine. So hi, Cassie. Um, so <laughs> Eric, are you excited to have me home again? Absolutely. Okay. He says absolutely. I don't know if he really does or not. Um, I think he misses me when I'm gone, but I think he kind of likes having the bed to himself. So the dogs missed me. <laughs> so I do have more dates to talk to you about for So Magical because there are three shows next year. And I also want to tell you some of the other things that happened that I didn't get to film and some of the really cool things. And look at just in time, Charlie's here so I can give Charlie a big shout out and I can make him blush and embarrass him because he's not actually sitting here to go, oh, stop it. Um, Charlie is the rock star of the week. I'm going to, the, the month, the year. Charlie. Charlie stepped up and helped me in my class and even though he just thought it was fun and it was no big deal, it was everything because I had 47 people signed up for my class. There was a glitch on the website and they overbooked, which is fine. Oh, I'm going to keep going, Charlie. So they, <laughs> they which I got an email um, a few, probably a couple months ago that said, when the classes opened up, there was a glitch. Some people had issues in the other direction of not being able to book things. Mine and another class overbooked. So I had 47 people signed up. And the, oh boy, Joel's here. Joel is, um, Joel is the, the Southern version of Eric. Hi, Lisa. I'm um, trying to say hi to everybody. So 
when I got the email and they said, you have 47 people, do you want us to, you know, refund some people and not, you know, not take all those? And I said, no, absolutely. I said, do we have room? That's the number one question. I don't want people sitting on top of each other. And they said, yes, we have room. I said, then leave it because I don't want to disappoint anybody. And how, how crappy would that be to find out that you thought you were in a class and then you weren't? So I said, go ahead. And when I had mentioned this during the last virtual retreat, Charlie had said, if you want some help, let me know. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Not thinking really that much of it. And then I just kept thinking about it. And then the next morning, um, maybe unlucky for him, he was alone with me. He was the first one to sign on. And I said, hey, does your offer still stand? Because I would definitely love your help. Let me tell you, could not have done that class without him because not only was he like just checking on people he was taking pieces of the wallet walking around pointing at people checking with me to make sure that it was you know is this what we're on is this what we're doing do you want them to do this next is it okay that this is happening he got people caught up we we were the first class on the first day so my class started at eight o'clock the show wasn't even open and because of it being so early, people were still registering. People were still getting like into the hall. Um, the Gaylord is super confusing. It's very, and I don't know if all of them are like this or just this one. We were in a new wing. So like this part had been um, built, I think they said during COVID or right after or before so it's connected but not in the same way the rest of the hotel is so trying to find your way around that hotel could be a nightmare at times we had people that came in a few minutes late and we had people that came in over an hour late which is a lot <laughs> over an hour is a lot um as charlie said everyone finished and that didn't happen in most of the classes i took well thank you um i'm sorry that that didn't happen in the other classes but there's one thing that I will always have confidence in myself about whether I do in any other area and that is my teaching skills. I've been doing this for almost 20 years, which sounds insane, but I've been teaching longer than I've had patterns out. I was teaching back when I was just making bags. So I know what happens in a class. I know how people overreact and get themselves nervous over literally nothing. They come in scared. I know how it goes. So for me, I know that I can teach a class well. I know that I can do what I need to do. And I'm not knocking anybody else, but I'm just kind of kind of a little a little warning. Sometimes when you take classes at shows like this with really cool people that have YouTube channels and have, you know, pattern lines and have different, you know, things going on and you know their personalities, Teaching on YouTube is very different from teaching in person. On YouTube, I can stop the camera anytime I want. I can edit things out. I can take 10 hours to film an hour tutorial. When you're in class, it's different. And if you're not normally a teacher, it can be a little overwhelming on your side as well. So I think a lot of the other teachers maybe didn't come as prepared or weren't, you know, maybe were overwhelmed by how many people. A lot of these classes were big. They were really, really big. So give them some, some leeway understand that things happened the way that they happened just because it's how it is but I always come as prepared as possible because I have had horrible classes sometimes because of myself I've had nightmares I've had things not go well I even had fabric not make it into kits and try to work my way around figuring that out for a class so I'm not perfect and I don't ever think that I am but I took the time the morning before like literally at five o'clock Thursday morning, I was awake marking the kits because I can tell, I can tell one person or 20 people the same instructions. Everybody hears it differently. So when I say mark here, they go here and I'm like, yeah, and then they do it on the other side. So I actually marked everything. And then with Charlie being there, having an assistant, it was, oh, it was amazing. I don't know if I want to teach again by myself. Um, on top of that, this is how great my students were. Um, somebody came to my booth on Saturday and said, I borrowed a chalk pencil from one of your assistants and, and I can't find it anywhere. I can't remember the name of it. And I said, was it mine? And she was like, no, it was from one of your assistants. And I said, well, the only assistant I had in class was Charlie. She goes, no, it wasn't a guy. It was one of the ladies assistants. I didn't have any other assistants. I didn't have anyone else helping me, but the other students were helping other people out. And it was just, they were such an amazing group. So if you were in my class, shout out to you. And Charlie, you're awesome. And after Charlie helped me for just out of the goodness of his heart, then he came over and brought me a present and he made me this really cool book 
for it's got walnut shell and it's got the little needle holders and it's got all these cool pockets so um yeah if you help me in my class you also have to make me gifts i guess that's now the standard which i'm fine with so thank you charlie and he said i made you two because i didn't know if you would want one out of your fabric if you wanted the other one and i was like oh no i want it out of my fabric because that's really cool so yes so you um shelly if your offer still stands and you want to help me teach you have to make me presents apparently so i'm just kidding okay so that i just totally went off on that tangent just because i wanted to give charlie a shout out i don't know what else i want to tell you i don't know where i want to go next i think i want to tell you about the designer panel i think that is a really good place to go because i didn't film that in the future if we do this again i'm now that I know everybody and I feel comfortable and we've all gotten to know each other, I will ask them if I can film it. That way we can all share it on our channels. I didn't get a chance to because I was nervous and also not thinking. So a lot of you said, you just say the nicest things to me and you were all like, why don't be nervous. You belong there. You're great. And I appreciate that. But just like you criticize what you make and you pick apart what you make I do the same thing to myself and I'm always like, I don't know if I'm important enough. I don't know if I'm a big enough designer. And I was not the only one that felt that way. And I didn't feel that way because of any of these big name designers. So I just want to preface that. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> back in the quilting world, this is not a bag making thing. Back in the quilting world, uh, the first time I ever went to market, just like a lot of you, I got kind of like starstruck and overly stimulated and so excited because I saw people that I followed on YouTube or on Instagram. And I was like, these people seem so cool. I'm so excited to meet them. And a lot of them were not overly friendly. A lot of them were not super nice. Were they having a bad day? Possibly. Are they shy in person? Maybe. Did they just not think that I was important enough? Also possible, I don't know. But what had happened is each person that I met kind of made me feel like, okay, move on. Like there's other more important people coming, can you get out of the way? That was the vibe I got from a lot of people. So going forward, I just always assumed that most people in our industry didn't want to connect with other people. They didn't want to be your friend. They didn't want to see what you were doing because maybe you're going to copy them or maybe if you follow them, you're going to take their ideas. There's always that like weird what if. And so going into this, I was super excited. And then all of a sudden when everyone started coming into the room, I got super nervous. I talk in front of people for a living. I taught 47 students that morning without an issue. I don't, this is not normal for me, but I'm seeing Lauren Mormino and I'm seeing uh, Alexis from Aura Rosa and Erica from Lavender and Twine. I'm like, oh God, I don't belong here. And I hope that they're really nice. Could not have been more wrong I fit in, they were so nice, the nicest people. Alexis is very outgoing and she'll just walk right up to you and introduce herself and you know, and just like make friends with you. And you know, and Lauren, and they're all the same way. Um, every single one of them could not have been kinder. And sitting on that panel, it was amazing because we all have the same fears, the same issues. We all do a lot of the same things, but we all feel that there's room for everybody. It's more of a community over competition kind of a thing. Of course, no one wants to be copied. Nobody wants to be, you know, a, <laughs> no one wants their stuff taken. That's not the point, obviously. But knowing that like I sell cork and somebody else does, it doesn't mean it's one or the other. You can shop at both places. And hearing like because Lauren had given us questions so basically what had happened is um, Lauren put this whole thing together she decided it would be like a super fun thing and we were all available on this one day so we all decided to do it and she sent us questions that way it wouldn't just be like on the spot and she said if everybody could just pick two questions that way everyone gets equal time just put your name there and you'll answer those questions and whatever so we're sitting there and this is this is my first my first run in with Nicole from Sonar and Lauren is hearing them because they've been friends for a long time hearing their relationship and the dynamic and I was like oh I fit in here so Nicole had chosen a question and decided she didn't want to answer it so she said to Lauren before we get started do I have to answer the question I picked and Lauren 
Lauren goes, why? She goes, I don't know if I want to answer that question. Lauren goes, is it because you don't want to be a Debbie Downer? And Nicole's like, kind of. And she goes, but that's kind of your brand. So just listening to them bicker with each other and like, and then Nicole's like, huh. Just listening to that, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. This is really going to be fun. Then all of a sudden, Alexis just kind of chimes in and goes, I'll totally answer that question. Don't worry. I got it. I can answer that. So you see that there's like the teasing and then don't worry. I got your back. That was pretty much the whole thing. So Lauren starts out asking us questions and we're all quiet. Not one of us is shy, but all of a sudden, not one of us could talk either. We would all answer the questions like, yeah, I do it this way. I do that. And so, and even Lauren was quiet too. And it was like, are, are we all awake here? Then I don't remember what the question was, but one person answered it. Then another person Then everyone kind of chimed in. Then the next question came up and Lauren goes, let's just go right down the row. So we went all the way down and we each answered it and we're interacting and we're, you know, talking to each other and we're talking to this group of people that has now gathered in front of us. It was not as well publicized. Um, I was a little confused going into it. I didn't know if we were supposed to tell people to come or if it was like a private thing that was going to be filmed for later. So I didn't say anything in my class, which I regret now. I should have asked. I didn't. But we all kind of made this decision at the last minute, um, a few weeks before the show. So definitely the next time I'm telling everybody and I'm telling everyone that they should come. So we're all sitting there just answering all these questions and going back and forth. And of course, me being the sarcastic person that I am to just kind of break some of the tension. One of the questions is about, um, I forget how we got in a tangent of finishing things. And Alexis from Aura Rosa is very um, prolific and finishes everything she makes. She's like, I can't make something and start it and not finish it. So what I do is I finish it and I give it to a friend or a family member that doesn't know that the pattern isn't supposed to look like that. This is just like a, a demo and they don't know and they don't care. And so of course I at this point have a microphone in my hand and I go <coughs> overachiever and they all start laughing and she just kind of looks at me like, oh, and then we just start laughing about it. Well, then as we're going on, of course, because I'm loud and so is Nicole and we're all loud. I'm like, can we get rid of these microphones? Because they're horrible. All I hear is an echo of myself and the people in the back still can't hear us. I said, I'm from New York. I'm loud enough. And I just start talking like I normally do. So then everybody just kind of gets rid of the microphones. They were just terrible. So we're just all just talking and just, it was just this all of a sudden I was friends with all of these people that I had just met like minutes ago and it was crazy. And like uh, many of them, we've been in contact since we've been talking, we've taken pictures, you know, like we're, I'm going to their booths. They're coming to mine. They're sending people to mine. And if you saw in the YouTube video that I uploaded, I wanted to get that done before today. Cause I wanted you to watch that. Um, when I was talking to Nicole from Sonar, she went on my website to see what my cork looked like so that she could bring stuff that wasn't like mine. And I was like, but you didn't even know me then. Like, what if you didn't like me? What if you thought I was an arrogant fool and you were like, I don't want to be friends with her. It didn't matter because we were all there to make money as vendors, to make connections as designers and as teachers to, you know, connect with our students. And nobody was like, but my patterns are better than yours. That vibe was not there with anybody. I would 100% recommend every one of theirs like I joined all of their groups they joined mine like it's this really cool friendship are we gonna like hang out and have lunch every time we see each other no but we have a connection now and some of the things that we were talking about some of the things that like I will sit and dwell on I'm like oh you have that problem too oh you feel the same way we're talking about seam allowances I have literally had people tell me that my quarter inch seam allowance is wrong because that's not how bags are made. And I'm like, but according to who? So as we're all going around, almost everybody was talking about using a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not wrong then. One of the other things um, that Nicole had also mentioned, we were sitting next to each other. So that's where a lot of that came from. She had said that she showed a backpack that she made on her YouTube channel, just like a, hey, look what I made. Everybody kept saying, when are you writing the pattern for that? I love that. She can't remember how she wrote it. She can't remember the techniques that she used. So she's like, I have to literally take it apart to ever make a pattern. And I'm lazy and I don't want to. And I, that's just who I am. She focuses more on selling finished products. So as she's saying this, I'm like, oh my God, I'm dealing with the same thing because right over there is I'm looking 
looking at it is a bag that I started a year ago, one year ago. Hi, hi, Zoe. Um, <laughs> Zoe's checking for the mailman. Um, I started this bag a year ago at a retreat. I thought I wrote notes. I thought I had things saved in my email. I thought I had a plan. Can't find it anywhere. So I have to deconstruct that bag to try to remake it because I can't write the pattern without knowing how I did it. I know I did it. I know it's possible. I'm sorry. My dogs are fighting with each other. If you can hear that. So that was probably the number one regret of this show is that nobody filmed the designer panel. It's, it is what it is. Um, oh, that's right. Zoe, there's no mail today. It's, it's totally fine, honey. Um, they're fighting over a toy that's bigger than them while I'm doing Facebook. So the joys of being at home. <laughs> I'm just looking at some of your comments too. Um, and I'm really sorry, like Roxanne and Teresa, I'm reading your comments about having incidents like that. And I'm sorry that you ever dealt with that. I really, could you? I'm just showing the toy. Okay. Oh my God. Come here. Get out of here. Girl. Barb, I miss you. Girl, fire. Um, <laughs> so, um, Sue Smith, if you want to come over right now, you can deconstruct this bag for me. I know it's just because you want to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, and yes, they do always want the same toy because they are both dominant females and they're horrible. So, one of the things that like I really think is unfair, and I think it's just kind of stupid, there's really no other word, is as women why we aren't supportive of each other and why we are always constantly like, don't copy my thing, don't do what I'm doing. There is room for all of us. Because here's the thing, this proof beyond proof, I get to name drop now because I'm so excited about it. Saya, Kasaya of Saya Swags, um, came into my booth. That was not rehearsed. I didn't know her before then. I had no clue at all. I think my mom had mentioned that somebody stopped by and wants to film YouTube in your, in your booth later. And I was like, okay. It might have been her. I don't even know because there were a lot of people. Just remember, we are in a digital age where we are all filming stuff. I'm filming stuff and I never did that at shows. So people were, you know, people were stopping by when I was in class or if I was walking around. Somebody came to the booth and said they wanted to film. Well, little did I know that Saya was going to be the one that was filming. Now, Saya has a, you know, she has a popular YouTube channel. She has a lot of followers. Obviously, we have, we cross over because the first text that I got was from Cheryl Taylor going, oh my God, you're on Saya's video. And a lot of, it was her sister mom. Okay, her sister had come in. A lot of other people had mentioned my name in her video and had said to me, I saw you on Saya's video. But then all of a sudden, I'm getting this influx of people that are brand new, that are joining our Facebook group, joining um, my newsletter list. A lot of people sending me information saying, I saw you on Saya's video. So how can, obviously, my group and her group, we have some crossover but we're not the exact same thing. So if there's room for two of us on YouTube, why is there not room for all of us designing patterns, selling hardware, doing everything? We all want to be your favorite. Of course, that's the, that's the whole goal here. I'm, I make money because I'm paying my bills and this is what I get to do for a living, which is really cool. I don't have a normal job. Obviously, we all want to be the most popular. We all want to be loved and well-known and liked. But just because we are doesn't mean somebody else can't be. And that's always the vibe that I got from a lot of people in other industries that no, 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 there's only room for me, you need to go away, or I was here first. That's not like that. And if there are bag makers that are like that, I didn't meet them this weekend. So, and I'm, I'm fine with not meeting them. This group of people, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, and now Saya and I have like a little friendship we've started, which I never thought would happen. It wouldn't have happened without So Magical. And um, we're working on something together potentially. And I'm also working on something with that. So Nova, you know, like these are all things, they're not set in stone. If things fall through, maybe they won't happen, but these are opportunities that happen for me being there. So going into so magical, I didn't know what I was to expect. I didn't know if I made a mistake in not bringing all the stuff I used to bring. I didn't know if I would even get to connect with people. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how any of it would go. I always hope for the best, but I try not to get super like excited. I try not to get my hopes up too much. It was so above and beyond what I could have ever expected 
that I signed up for all three shows next year. They are doing three of them, technically four if you count the cruise. I'm not going on the cruise. Um, that would be really cool. But I'm doing all three. So I don't have the dates in front of me, but you can get them on their website. I'll just give you a little overview. So if you live in these areas or you want to travel or you're thinking about going to So Magical, you totally should because how awesome would it be to all be able to see each other, meet up in person, and for you to also meet some really cool people and find, you know, suppliers that have other things. You know, there's there's other people that sell stuff besides me. Yes, obviously, I want I want your money. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I want I want your business, but there's things that I don't have. I have a bag full of vinyl. I don't even sew in vinyl, but I couldn't resist it. So there's lots of things for you to see and to do, and they do them at these kind of fancy resorts, and they're cool, but, um, you know, it's it's a little vacay. Maybe you take your family. Maybe you don't. My friend um, just went to get away from her entire family because she was like, I got four kids at home. I'm going by myself. I'm hanging out by the pool. I'm getting a room to myself. There's so many, you know, there's options. Um, and Charlie, what you just said, that is my goal. Charlie said we could have an exchange or a meetup. That's what I want because Jess from Oak La Roots had a meetup. Um, Lo did Lauren do one? Charlie, help me out. Um, I know, I think Saya had one. I know Lynn's Handmade had one. Several of these designers had meetups and exchanges. And like, what a cool thing to do. Like how, how cool to be like, hey, So Many Creations has one. That would be freaking awesome. So um, they have, the next one is in February. It's in Grapevine. And Trisha just, um, actually, can I pin this? I just pinned her comment. So I think it should go to the top. Um, Trisha just um, bleh, words just gave us the dates for February. So it's in Grapevine, Texas, which is near Dallas. It's on that side of Texas. Don't ask me where. I just put in a GPS direction. February 17th, 18th, and 19th. I will be there. As far as I know, I am teaching. I don't have details yet. And as soon as I do, I will let you guys know. And I already have a super duper helper. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, Chili's going to help me. Um, Donna, that brings me to the next one. Donna said, will you be in Nashville? I will. I was originally not going to Nashville because the timing is a little bit rough. Um, it's the weekend before of the 4th of July, however you want to say it. It's like the 30th, the 1st and the 2nd. It's that weekend right before the 4th of July. So you could always go and do something cool in Nashville for the holiday. Um, we were not planning on going because my mom is not available. If my mom can't go with me, my mom is my dog sitter. So since she was out, how do I go? How, what am I going to do? I have options, but sometimes it's with holidays, it's kind of hard. And so I decided that Eric needs a vacation. So he is coming and this might be the worst decision of our lives. We are bringing our dogs. Um, so we got an Airbnb that is pet friendly. I have no idea how this will go. You might not see Eric because I might have to send him back to stay with the dogs. Um, but we are definitely going to Nashville. I did not know if anyone was going with me, so I didn't sign up to teach. But I may put my application in because I know it's not too late. Um, and then the last one is going to be Florida, which they have moved, which actually is a good thing, I think. The beginning of November is usually um, quilt festival in Houston. So if anybody wanted to do both, they couldn't. Well, next year they can because they moved it to September. I don't remember the exact dates. I want to say it's, I don't have a 2023 calendar, but it's towards the middle or end of September. If anybody wants to look it up, I will pin your comment as well. Um, and if anybody wants to post the Nashville dates, please do. If not, I'll post them later. So I did sign up for that one as well. Personal opinion, and I don't know if this is right or not, Texas is brand new, Tennessee is brand new. I still think that they're gonna be amazing. I still think they're gonna be awesome, but I have a feeling that Florida is going to be through the roof because a lot of these vendors have done so magical for the four years that they've had it. Um, hello. Um, this is this was year four. A lot of the attendees also like to go. Um, so I, I think that Florida is going to be really, really big. But I think that all of us, if we all spread the word and go, I think we could make Texas and Tennessee really, really big. So 
Um, <laughs> Helene says, any excuse to go to Nashville? Let's all go, because I think it would be super awesome. So, so I'm excited. The last time I went to Nashville was for QuiltCon, oh God, 2018, 17, something like that. It might have, 19, I don't know. It was pre-COVID, I'll get that for you. Um, <clears throat> so here you go. So I have not been to Nashville since, so I'm excited about that. Um, I don't know if Yvonne wants to know, do they ever come to Arizona? This is all new. They have not done anything outside of Florida yet. So Florida is the original location because that's where the, um, the host, the um, creator of So Magical is from. So that is, um, that is where it originated. So my dog is licking my fingers. Um, thank you. So the cruise, Nashville and Texas are all brand new. I don't know if more things will be added on. I don't know if these will work. I don't know anything about that. I don't have any association with So Magical. So there's, if you have questions in regards to the show, definitely email them or find it in the Facebook group. Their Facebook group is public. You can join. Ask them those questions. I don't know. Like Cindy and I were talking a little bit yesterday about um, renting a sewing machine. I know that it was available in Florida, I assume it is in the other ones, but I can't answer those questions because I do not know. Um, Trisha, you are literally the best. Um, I love that you did that for me. I'm just seeing it again because my thing keeps showing me pinned comment. Okay, I gotcha. Um, so fashion show, the fashion show we did not do because we were really, really tired and hungry. So we went and found food and coffee. <laughs> So Shannon, I know exactly how you feel because we don't have anything cool like this in our neck of the woods either. Literally nobody wants to come to upstate New York and do anything. So I understand. And you're in Ohio, so I get it. We're just not, we're not destined, you know, like a destination kind of a place, which is too bad. So um, that was, I think that was everything I wanted to tell you that I didn't get to tell you before. Um, but this event, from my knowledge, did not start as a bag making event, but it's kind of steered in that direction. There's, there's clothing classes and there's, cause it was, um, I assume, I don't know if this is just an Orlando thing. They were making ears and doing Mickey things because it's near Orlando and near Disney. And a lot of people go to Disney. I don't know if they'll do the same kinds of things in the other States. There's other classes. There were embroidery classes. There was a quilt class that I saw. There were some other cool things. Um, but it's really gotten, into like this bag making thing, this like, this really cool thing that we never had. I keep saying thing because I don't know what else to say. This event that I think we were so lacking because with all the quilt shows that I used to do, I, I had a great time. It, they were profitable, they were good for me, it got my name out there, but I was always the odd duck. I was always, oh, you're the bag person, you're the cork person because there wasn't anybody else doing it. At another show, you might see one or two vendors that have a few things. You weren't seeing one after another people selling cork, vinyl, hardware, zippers. This is like the destination. This is the show to go to if that's what you're into and that's what you want to see. And if you're here, I'm assuming that's what you're into. So I think it's very, very cool. And I'm just, I, I still can't believe that I got to do this. I can't believe that it was as much fun and as beneficial in so many ways. I can't believe I saw an alligator. That was very cool. I was, it was not a big one. For those of you who thought it was a big alligator, it was not. Um, <laughs> I saw alligators in in a, a um, in the hotel too. The yes, uh, the, Charlie said it best. The fandom fabrics and vinyls and zipper pulls are insane. If you are into anything Disney, um, I. I, I don't want to say Harry, not Harry Potter. I don't know any of these things. I don't follow them. Any of those like really specific, you could walk into a booth and see things. And I did not recognize half of what the stuff was because I'm not into any of this stuff. But if you are, it's like, it, it's the place to go. Roxy here. I don't want that. Um, and I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I said to my mom, like on day one, I'm like, well, we'll see how this goes. I hope I hope I brought enough stuff. I hope it works for me. I hope we make money. I hope it, you know, I hope I meet people. We'll see how it goes. I had no intention of signing up for any of the other ones. I literally went back to the hotel the night that we finished packing and I signed up for two and then the third one earlier this week. As soon as I got Eric on board with taking these mongrels to Tennessee, we were going. Thank you. Harry Potter, Star Wars, anime, all that kind of stuff. So 
<laughs> okay, so let's look at what I bought because I don't remember half of what I bought. <laughs> I also have some new cork. So I think it was Anne who noticed in the video that I had some Christmas cork and some new stuff. I did not intentionally leave you guys out. I promise I would never do that. What happened was our cork shipment literally came in the day before we left. So I was cutting it and I just took it with me because I didn't have time to pack it or to um, mark it, picture it, picture it, photograph it, all that kind of stuff. So that is why it's not on the website. It will be on the website next week and we have more on order. Um, oh, that's so sweet, Daisy. Your booth reignited my bag making plans. Well, thank you. I came home wanting to make like all the bags. Like I, I was like, I need to make everything right now. So, oh, and one other thing, I get sidetracked. But I've told you guys this before, not about being sidetracked, but about my weird phobia and like, I don't know, the, the way that I will happily post literally anything online, I post embarrassing pictures of myself. But in other people's groups, I get super shy and uncomfortable posting my own stuff. When you guys tag me, I'm fine with it. But when I do it, I'm like, ooh. So I was talking to one of the designers that I um, have become friends with. Her name is Kathy. If you want to go check out her stuff, it's K Dill Handmade. She was in she was in my video. Um, if I get a chance, I will try to tag everybody so you can go check out the people that I was talking to. Um, she and I were talking about like how we both feel uncomfortable doing that and how it's like weird and awkward to to do that, but you want to because you want to get your name out there. Well, she came home and she made one of her patterns and she posted it and so whatever. And I messaged her and I was like, I'm so proud of you. I was like, you did such a great job. I'm like, I'm going to do it. You did it. I'm going to do it. So this weekend, hopefully I can finish something or make something look finished, even if it's not totally finished. And I'm going to post it because I, I need to do the thing that makes me uncomfortable as much as I tell you guys to do the things that you're uncomfortable with. So I'm going to do exactly what I tell you to do. And like I said to her, what is, what are we afraid of? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? Is somebody really going to go on there and go, Oh my God, it's garbage. We hate you. No, probably not. And I'm really sure that that's not going to happen, but we all need to, we all need to get outside that little comfort zone we're in. So I'm going to step out of it. I just have to make something. So let me show you the cork. It will be either coming in soon or on the website next week. Um, because I love Christmas almost as much as I love Halloween. <laughs> so I got some Christmas cork. Oh, come on. And some new cork. And okay, that's everything. Excuse me. So this one I had to reorder. Uh, my mom and I were laughing about how cute we thought this was. This is all that I have left. And how it never, it wasn't selling. And then all of a sudden, by the end of Sunday, it was gone. So obviously, it is sold out. Um, this knitted look in rainbow, like how freaking cute is this? I didn't even get a piece for myself. Like I looked through the bin yesterday when I unloaded my car, and I was like, oh, I can use that. I'll make something that everyone will see how cute it is, and then they'll want it. Uh, nope, I didn't get a chance to. So mom, we did sell out, if you didn't notice. This is all gone. This is all that I have left. So this is on reorder. You can't have this yet. I'm hoping to have stuff by the end of November. But isn't this cute? I don't even knit and I think it's cute. Yes, Rebecca, you do need this. I need this. This is all I have. It makes me kind of sad. But that means people did like it. So also Rainbow Chevron, that is Kasaya's fault. She sold that out. And she also was the first one to buy this one, which then got popular, but there's still a little bit left. I love this. It's just black and white and it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of like cool and textured looking. I reordered this. I, we might only have like a piece of it left, but if we have enough, I will put it on the website. Um, so Linda, I, you're right. I might be able to get a ginger out of that. I, I'm going to do something with it. It might be, uh, not normal, which that's kind of my brand. So we'll see, but, but this is on order. Hi baby. Are you coming up? You coming? I'm not playing with your ball. Um, let's see. I showed you that and I brought black home because I don't know what I'm working on first when we start today. So I got this little hound's tooth. This is red, beige, white, and black, just so that you know. So isn't that pretty? Just a little, it reminds me of Burberry. It reminds me of like that high-end um, 
isn't it usually like the inside of like jackets and stuff I just love that so I got that and that I think we have some more of whatever we have I will upload I have not really been to the shop I've been there for like a minute <laughs> so this one I know it's Christmas I know not everybody does Christmas and I know that not everyone wants Christmas but I think it's cute so I got like the red and green, and it actually has little pine cones, poinsettia. I keep holding this to the computer, but I should be holding it up here. So, <laughs> the computer can't help me. Um, <laughs> wouldn't this be cute for those little trays? And you could put them out at Christmas, or you could make, you could even make something cute, like a cute little wallet to carry for yourself, or a bag. I just think it's really cute. And then I also got, I love this one, I love plaid. I got this Christmas plaid so it's it is black it's just really it almost looks navy but it's black and red and green kind of like a buffalo plaid but like with two colors I just love that that will come up that we have more of and then I also got um, holly berries so how cute is that so I need to make some cute stuff for Christmas so that we have it out um, okay that's it that's it for the cork that's going to fall on the floor. Please stop staring at me. I'm not playing with your ball. Um, whoa, where do we want to start? So I went on a little shopping spree. <laughs> Glenna, I'll send it all to you. <laughs> Don't worry, Diane. I will have it on the website. Um, ew. Roxy. Oh, that, go away. Okay. Good thing you guys can't smell through the computer. Um, anyway. Ugh. So next to me my the booth next to me was hannah woodworking and she is super cute she's so sweet she makes everything herself she makes seam rippers rollers she had these really big um handles that you could put an ice cream scoop or like a pizza cutter on it really cool the this is a good website to look at if you are looking for holiday gifts for those people that are really hard to buy for like guys the guys in your life or the person in your life that just has everything what do you buy for them a sewing person you want to get them a seam ripper she i love that she makes everything by hand she makes it out of wood and resin this one i i want to see if you can guess what this is made out of because i don't think you can this one is just like the other one that i have and i just i can't get enough of these it's the seam ripper and then the stiletto and then they're safe so you can put them away so I'm going to hold this up while I talk and see if any of you could possibly guess what this is made out of. What's inside of it? Let me see if I can get it a little closer. So I have a feeling one of you might all of a sudden come up with the idea, but I don't know. I did not know what it was. And I got a little matching roller too. So a little seam roller. So isn't that so cute? So um ah trisha got it i knew somebody would get it it is money it is shredded money and which when you start looking closely you can see some of the little bits and sparkles so you guys are so smart connie mary you're all smarter than me um because <laughs> i'm like i don't know what it is and when she said it i went oh okay so how cool is that and then she also uses her extra resin and makes just little magnets. And she gave me these cute little purple sparkly magnets. Aren't they cute? So that was my neighbor. So I bought those from her. Um, let's see. Okay, so I went to uh, Saya's booth and got some of her thread. And since I have a heavy duty and I have a domestic, I got a spool of each. So I got a Tex... 70 and a Tex 45. So unlike your normal thread, the numbers actually go in order. Um, normal thread goes the opposite way. So a 28 is higher than a 50. These are the opposite because they're Tex. Um, and please don't ask me what that means. I haven't done enough research. Tex 45 is going to be for my domestic and Tex 70 is going to be for the industrial. So I'm going to try this out later. I know it's not it's not as exciting in the spool when you see it on a bag. Ugh, it's gorgeous. And it's rainbow, and I can't help myself. So I got two spools of that. Mary, I will. Um, I will do a review on the thread and let you know what I think of it. Um, so far, I so far it's beautiful. I haven't opened it yet. It is a bonded 
um, polyester thread and this one is called Celestia. So I'm very excited about it. Sometimes with variegated rainbows, they're not rainbow enough. They're not as variegated. So I'm excited. Oh, Cheryl, this is what you use. Why didn't you tell me that? Now I know. <laughs> okay. So I did get some thread. Picking out regular colors, I wouldn't even know where to start. And once I get hooked in this, I'll probably buy more. Um, let's see. What else did I get? I got Saya swag, of course. I got one of her really cool cards and a pen. And it's a really soft pen. It's a really nice pen. So I don't know what this is. Um, people gave me things and I don't know what everything is. Oh, this is from Vala. This is from Vala Creative. It says, life is a beach, enjoy the waves. She gave me a little, a little package. Um, the amount of things that people love to hand to you and give you for free, like you can't say no. Somebody made me a really cool badge reel, which I left on my dresser. And I don't know who it was because whoever you are, if you're there, you gave it to my mom and my mom is really bad at remembering names or you didn't tell her your name, whatever the case was. I have it and it's beautiful. I thank you. Um, she gave me some little rulers and they're purple. So Vala creative. And then I cannot show you all of these because it's ridiculous, but Charlie, I really wish that I had signed up to get a swag bag <laughs> because it, they, I heard they were awesome. And Jill, can you use text 45 in the bobbin too? I assume so, but I don't have my domestic here. I only have my HD9. So when I sew at the office, um, hopefully next week I can try it out and I'll let you know if it works in my domestic. Um, let me see here. Just trying to catch up because Barb's not here to read comments. I bought some zipper pulls, like, like a lot. Um, like literally, I, I, I bought a whole bunch of zipper pulls. Charlie, did you go down there? Because <laughs> um, what she was doing is letting you break up these packs. But of course, I wanted some of the packs. So then you could buy individual zipper pulls. I got little citrus in matte rainbow. I have pink flamingos. I have a bird in a cage. I don't know what I'm doing with any of these, but they're really freaking cool, and I had to buy all of them. I got gunmetal. I got silver. I got a lot of rainbow because I love her rainbow, and she does matte and shiny rainbow, so I got a whole lot of stuff. I got birds. I don't know. I just bought stuff because it was really cool. I got a really cool tiger, and I put it on my zipper, and see that? Even the matte rainbow looks nice on the shiny rainbow, so... That's what we had. Yeah. <laughs> Vala got a lot of my money. Her name is Candace. Vala is her last name. She is sweet as pie. If you are looking for fun zipper pulls, I highly recommend her website. Um, her turnaround time sometimes can be a little extended because, um, because it is. So I don't know. Get over it. Um, but she designs all of these. So she does do some of the, um, what do you call it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. the what's that word I want uh Charlie help me somebody the word the theme themes she does some themes but she also does she also designs all of the stuff herself and does really cool designs this one I think it's this one is potential spam this is the little caterpillar from um, Alice in Wonderland I didn't get any other theme kind of things just because I love her animals. She has really cool animals, seahorses, snails, but she also has other um, little theme kind of things. So uh, let me see here. Is everything pretty much universal? Zipper pulls to your zipper tape? Not necessarily. So my zipper tape is number five. If it's a number five zipper pull, you should have no problems. Vala Home Creative sells number five pulls. They work on my zipper tape. I use them all the time. Just double check because a lot of vendors sell three and five. Um, Biani zippers are 4.5, so they look like five, but they don't quite fit. So just always double check. Um, I know that all my zippers are five and Vala Home Creative pulls fit my zippers. That I can tell you for sure. Yes, she had... Um, an Alice in Wonderland line. I, that was the only one that I got. And Princess Bride, which I really wish I would have looked at closer because why wouldn't I? Um, okay. So, oh, I also got a little present when I got home from Tricia. And she made stuff for everybody, in, 
including my husband who has his own so he doesn't need to use mine um, thank you Tricia I absolutely love it and it's purple and shiny um, and she made or well she didn't make she sent presents to my girls um, to Roxy and Zoe they got their own presents they loved it by the way they loved their coffee um, I'm gonna save the best for last let me see so I went down to see Nicole at Sonar um, <laughs> Charlie <yeah. laughs> um, I went down to Sonar and I had to buy the Unicorn Roots, I think it's called. It's Unicorn. It's rainbow, just awesomeness. I see this in a lot of her bags and I had to get it. I don't have this cork. I cannot get this cork. As far as I know, if I ever find this cork, you know I will be getting like five rolls of it. But for now, this is my piece. And if you want some, you have to get it from Sonar. But I'm obsessed with that. I love it so much that I don't know if I want to use it. <laughs> Ah, Charlie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might have gotten the last piece. It was low when I got there because I went um, Saturday afternoon, I think, and it was kind of low. And I got that. And then I went to um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Impish Geek Designs and I got Diamond Dust and Zombie Skin. So <laughs> I know they're goofy names, but it's vinyl with a very different backing than I'm used to. It's not that fuzzy kind of backing. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It almost feels like a knit fabric, but it's not stretchy, if that makes any sense. It's still soft. Um, the vinyl feel, it doesn't feel super sticky. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, what color did you get, Charlie? Because I got the diamond dust in the purple, of course. And I also got the zombie skin because there were so many cool colors I couldn't decide so I just went and, and grabbed it this one kind of has gray in the background um impish geek also had a lot of the themed zipper pulls which were not my cup of tea because I'm not into all the the stuff so I just got this from her so very cool I don't work with vinyl a lot because I find vinyl to be very heavy and it's not something I like to carry in my bags, but I'm always intrigued by it. So I want to do some little things, maybe like some little wallets or like Trisha did the little boxy pouches. I don't like carrying it in a bag, like a full bag of vinyl, like I did to Houston last year. That actually hurt my neck. That bag empty was hurting my neck when I was carrying it. So for me, I don't want a whole vinyl bag, but I might mix it with some cork, play around. I'm just, I'm just having fun just buying things and doing whatever. So um, this will not be for everybody. Uh, don't worry, it's not swear words, but it is horror movie related because you all know I'm a freak and I couldn't help it. This is from Zarell. Um, <laughs> they had, this was, um, did she say it was only for So Magical, I think? Where's the end of this? I can't open this up. I don't know how to open this. Um, I'm having issues. This is, uh, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, but with flowers. So he is um, hanging out with bloodstained flowers because why not? I got <laughs> Ghost Face from Scream. And this one is, oh, there's the opening. I mean, this is nice vinyl. Like I'm really excited about this. So he's on sunflowers. I don't know where all of these fun designs came from, but I love it. I love the whole theme of the horror movies, but with flowers. It's just funny. This is very um, Andy Warhol kind of reminiscent. Um, let me open this one up. It's kind of got that look to it with all of the um, horror movie guys. There's um, Freddy Krueger and... Michael Myers, Leatherface, Jason, just all in like fun colors, like just because I couldn't resist. And then this one, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I love this one so much. I made a new friend. Her name is Zoe, um, Zoe, and she had something very similar. And as soon as I saw it, it was in my brain. And I was like, I have to go find something like that. So I told her this was her fault. Um, pastel horror movie because <laughs> it's just really fun and I know a lot of you are like oh my god why'd you buy that if Barb is watching she's rolling her eyes really hard but it's just me I can't help it so I got that vinyl but she also had K 
canvas. And I haven't even, I haven't even opened this up yet. So, ooh, this is nice. So it's, it's a really nice weight canvas, not overly heavy, got a nice firmness to it, but I got some of that too. So I'm very excited about that. Um, if you make something out of vinyl and like it, will Barb not like you if you want to put it on your website? Well, listen, Barb has to love me. Like it's in her contract. Um, she has to deal with me. So I can do anything I want on my website. I can get any products I want. The reason I don't carry vinyl is because if I did, we would already outgrow the new space that we're in because vinyl ends up being like cork where you can't just get a few. You have to get like a million of them and you want to get all the different textures and colors and prints. So for me, I'm sticking with cork. If that ever changes, I will let you guys know, but that's why I don't carry vinyl. I tried it um, very briefly, but it was just um, just like solid colors and it didn't really do well. It really wasn't a big seller, so I just decided it wasn't the right financial decision for my business and I'd rather stick with the things that I'm known for that work for me. Um, right now we're doing really well with waterproof canvas. I would rather expand the color selection of the waterproof than to get into yet another um, substrate. The vinyl is cool, but I go buy vinyl at other places. Go spend your money with them because I'm not going to compete with these people. The amount of vinyl, if you're a vinyl person, the amount of vinyl that was at So Magical was unreal. And it wasn't all printed. There were solids. There were glitter. There was all sorts of stuff. Um, and speaking of, the last this is not last um, intentionally, but last because I think it was the most fun. I went to Lauren's booth, to Mormino, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. So first of all, I got more clips. And I have, um, I have purple already, the light and dark purple. I got the green ones because I didn't have them and they're sparkly. And I got those from her. I also got waterproof canvas and these are these are for designs so i got the waterproof canvas in this really cool scissor design but i also got water sorry that's really loud i got water resistant canvas in her dice design and this is a little bit thinner so this a lot of people are liking in linings as well so i want to play with both of these and see and I saw, um, Celinda said, yes, expand the waterproof um, canvas color options. I've been thinking about doing this for a little while. I wanted to hear your thoughts. I'm thinking about going, because we have a lot of lights and brights. I do the lights and brights because I, I use it for linings. But I was actually thinking of going into some of the other neutrals as well, the black, the navy, the dark brown, as things that you could also incorporate on the outside of bags. If you have your two cents you want to throw in for that, please do. Prints can be tough because I don't, I'm not in love with any of the prints that the place I buy it from has. They're okay, but like Lauren's prints are way better. So I'm thinking of doing some more solids and doing some more of the, um, like the darker ones and the ones that you could use on the outside of bags too. So, cause I have a little bit of black and I think I might have, I think I might have some navy, but just kind of playing around. Um, Charlie likes it. Somebody else, um, Nancy Casso was asking in the group about using the black waterproof canvas on the outside of something. So I'm thinking about expanding in that direction, the waterproof canvas. So, okay. I'm getting excited cause I have something so exciting to show you. Um, so let's see, I did not even open these all the way, so I can't remember what they all look like. Don't judge me. Uh, let's just rip it. Lauren puts all this beautiful tape on her stuff and I'm just gonna rip it. So I got this vinyl. I mean, come on. It's uh, blah, blah, blah. rainbow scissors and stripes. I love that. So I got that. Heather autocorrect is the bane of my existence. I really hate when my phone tries to help me. <laughs> I got this, which is black lace. I hope that picks up for you. Let me wait until my computer catches up. Mm, it's not great, but it's actually, oh, I got it in another color. I'll show you. It's, oh, it's just really, really soft. It has this, I don't know how to describe it. It just has this really cool feel to it. And it's a lace print that's three dimensional. I got it in lavender. Let me see if you can see that better. I think you should be able to. 
But like, how cool is that? So let me see. Well, it's better. It's still not great, but it's better. So that is, and on screen, it's looking more pink. It's actually a very gray purple. Um, so I got some of that. It's just so soft. I couldn't stop. Every time I was touching it, I was like, oh, it's so soft. Um, so let me see. Oh, and then I, one thing that I don't work with a lot that I want to work with more, like I was looking at the bag that Charlie made. I don't do enough in my own mind with the clear vinyl. I do have the Sydney wallet, but like I want to play more with clear vinyl. And Lauren had her scissor print. Come on. Um, she wraps it so nicely. I almost feel bad ripping it. It's clear vinyl that has that design on it. So like how cool is that? So I definitely want to play around with this. I have a lot of things to play around with and we do have a whole virtual retreat in front of us, but what will I get done? I have no idea. Okay, so last but not least, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. I really, really wish that I could have brought one of these home to share with you guys, but I did not want to ship this eight by 24 ruler. And oh my God, it's amazing. So these were exclusive for So Magical. People are begging her to put them on the website. I don't know if she will because I understand shipping this would probably be a nightmare. I can't even imagine trying to ship it. But it is ombre rainbow and glitter. And I don't even care if it's functional or not because it's just so pretty that I had to buy it. You can see through it. You can definitely use it for cutting. It's got that nice grip on the back, but I really didn't even care. I just wanted it because it was so pretty. So this is my ruler. No one is allowed to touch it ever. Um, and I actually told my mom while we were packing the car that I care about the safety of this ruler more than her. I was joking, obviously, kind of, but I, every time we stopped, I made sure that the ruler was safe. I kept, <laughs> I kept checking to make sure it wasn't broken. Um, it was really sad and pathetic, but this is another, I brought this to also, no, I'll put that back in there, to also entice you to think about going because a lot of the stuff that I got was exclusive for So Magical. So if you aren't there, you don't get to see the cool stuff. I don't have any exclusive stuff. I guess I did for a minute. You'll get the cork. But the rulers and some of the other things, the um, that vinyl, it was exclusive. Because like they want the, the vendors want to make it like this really special event. The classes go on all the time. There's a lounge to sew in. It was just a really, really cool event. I was a little skeptical going into it, just thinking, I don't know what this is about. I don't know. I haven't vended in almost three years. I don't know if this is the right thing for me. It was the right thing. It's the right thing for everybody. So I hope that all of you will consider coming to one. I will be at three of them next year. I'm very excited. Um, yeah. And that's, that's it. I've just been, I've been sitting here all week waiting to talk to you guys. Like I was so excited and I'm really glad that you liked the video that I did. That was really fun because I've never been able to do that before. I've never had a YouTube channel to be able to do that. And it's pretty cool to say like, oh, I'm filming this for my channel. And I did have a few people come up to me that were, um, you know, that were like, oh, I know you, I know you from YouTube or, oh, I know you from Fridays. Oh, you guys are so funny. So it's really, it was a really neat experience to have that part because I never had that before I could never do that so if you like that I will for sure the next time I'm there um, film again because why not and like I said hopefully if we do another um, designer event which I hope we do um, then I will ask if I could film that too because I think it would be really cool for you guys to see the questions and hear everybody's answers and hear some of like the ideas and you know how each of us are so similar but so different at the same time um, the audience was really engaged and really asking questions especially towards the end you know and just like really just kind of random questions you know all over the spectrum of just interesting information that people were looking for so it was um it was really really cool and if you like it give this video a thumbs up i'm just kidding um i'm not oh um before we came on because i'm just really excited because i always i always check just to see I looked at my YouTube channel and I am nine followers away from hitting 14,000. So 
each little milestone just makes me so excited. It makes me feel so validated and so ready to make more videos. Like I have a list of videos I wanna make and we have so much going on between now and the end of the year that I don't know when I'm squeezing these in, but I'm gonna try. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's everything. We leave for Florida in a couple of weeks again for another event and it's just, it's chaotic in this house, but it's good, it's all good. <laughs> So, um, let's, see. yes. So Charlie, I hope your husband had fun. I hope all of the spouses had fun that weren't hanging out. Um, we did meet this one, um, this one guy, he was really cool. Um, he was a veteran. Of course, I don't remember what his name was, but he was scout, like scoping out the vendors for his wife because she had, she had booked herself like extremely. She had classes one after another, after another all day. He took his classes, he was done. So he was checking out everything for her and then sending her to you know different booths. And you have these nice conversations with someone and then you run into them again, they're like, hey, like your best friends. So it's just, it's really fun. Um, my one piece of advice that I will give to any of you that are coming, um, well actually I'm gonna give you a couple pieces. Number one, don't go crazy on your classes. I know you want to. I know you wanna take a class with every single person that you like and admire, I get that. Don't put yourself in a position where you, you are so like just brain dead because I it happened to a lot of people. You're going to do it anyway, but you will learn. A lot of people were like, I didn't even go to one of my classes because I was so tired. I didn't even make it. I left early. I overbooked. Try not to overbook yourself. Everybody was doing it and they were so overwhelmed in a good way, but also just try not to. Um, if you are able to drive there, you can shop more. I'm just saying, and you can bring your own machine, which is going to work better for you for classes because you're comfortable. You have your own machine. As far as I know, you can rent. If you can rent in Florida, I assume you could also rent at the other shows. Double check with them first, find out what the information is on that. So if you do want to fly, but if you fly, leave room in your suitcase. You don't have to bring a lot of outfits, leave a lot of room, bring a big suitcase because you're going to go crazy shopping. It's just the way that it is. It was, I went crazy and I didn't even need, I don't need any of this stuff, but I wanted it. So I literally left the booth and said to my mom, I'm just going to go say hi to one person. That's all I'm doing. I'm walking away to go say hi to one person. I did not see her and I did not get to ask the question that I really wanted to ask, but I came back with an armful of vinyl and my mom was like, I thought you were going to talk to someone. I was like, I did. I just didn't talk to that person. I talked to other people and I spent all of my money. So you know, it's just the way that it is. I think that's everything. I can't think of anything else I wanted to tell you. And if I do, I'll tell you later. <laughs> oh yes. And like Charlie said, if you drive, get a wagon from Walmart or Target. This is the only show that I have ever been to where they allow you to bring pulleys and wagons. Most shows don't let you do that. Most of like the big shows always said no to anything on wheels. So since you have that as an option, it is really helpful. <laughs> So yes, um, if you're driving, leave yourself a lot of room to bring all your things home because you're going to want everything. Um, if there's anything else that I didn't tell you, if you want to know, let me know. Otherwise, I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to be talking about this in the virtual retreat. So I hope you guys are ready. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. Next week, next week, I don't think Barb's back again. I think she's still on her cruise because she ditched me to go to the Bahamas, which is such bull. Um, so I'll be alone but I'll entertain you. And then she should be back the next Friday, I think, which I think is actually, oh my God, the next Friday is the day after Thanksgiving. Wow. So anyway, yeah, I'm just looking. Um, I have my calendar in front of me. Um, I'm alone next week. And the week after that on Black Friday, I will be doing Facebook from Log Cabin. So Barb apparently is not hanging out with me on Facebook for until December. <laughs> so, but that's okay. So, so Linda, that's a great idea. I should do a tips video. Um, just the things that I found out and then I'm sure other people will also comment and give you more tips. Um, I will do that. You are on the cruise next week, Barb. And then I have to, I have to leave you, um, to go to log cabin. So Barb and I will see each other at some point. <laughs> She'll be all tan and smart when she gets back. She's going to learn things on handy quilter and I'll just be here being me. So I'm going to say goodbye and I will see some of you in a couple hours and the rest of you I will see online 
in a week. So have a good day and I'll see you guys later. Now I have to find my way to the iPad because Eric, are you out? I'm coming. <laughs> He's coming. I'm going to end the video. Can you come hit the button for me, please? I'm going to hit the button. <laughs> you got to hit the finish button. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't be rude. Hit the finish button. Which one? The one that says finish. Where? On the bottom. Where? Thank you. Right there? Yes. Right here. Bye. Right there over there? Right there? Stop. Right there. Oh, it's right there. There?